All right, well, good morning, good evening, good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen. Citizens of YouTube, Pastor Dow here. This video is called The Reset. Now, for, for those of you who've been following the ministry from some length of time, um, you know, somewhere, this is the month of November now, the very beginning of November. Somewhere around in October, I got to go back and look at the archives. Don't know exactly um, when I actually called it. But I mentioned that the ministry was getting ready to go through a reset. Listen to me very carefully. Uh, nobody knew what this reset was going to look like. Um, uh, nobody knew exactly what it encompassed. Uh, a lot of questions was being asked. All I did was mention reset. And if you're on my private platform, Patreon, out of which I'm going to put it out there for some of you right now, that if you're on a private platform, Patreon, and you just, and you um, assume to bring my private videos from the Patreon platform out to the public, you could be in great trouble, big troubles. I'm going to make sure of it. But anyway, I'm going to leave it at that. But the reset. And so it's literally literally has been prophetic because you think about this i called a reset and uh, i started making videos on my private platform telling people how exactly the communities and the ministry runs i did a series of videos on patron explaining to everyone the way the community and the ministry runs how we do things and boy 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 look what has ensued look what has pursued and look just in the last year all the chaos all the slander all the false witnesses all the all the everything you could think of i mean everything you could think of um that the do you know the, the scriptures warn us about um i mean the slander of a city uh offended people uh, people leaving, um, you know, um, leaders defecting and, and, and impugning my character. The whole nine yards, all this. Mind you, I'm going to say this again. A lot of people have forgotten this. Pastor Dow called a reset. Y'all remember that now? You do remember that, right? And look, you can, yeah, people can try to spin it. You can try to dodge it. You can try to... Um, Put whatever narrative you want with it. But the truth is, this was called before it happened. Now, everybody has a different perspective on things, okay? But I'm going to say this. Again, this was literally prophetic because it was called before it happened. And this reset is, um, and the reset was, is actually... You know, there's some purge and there's some things that we need to go back to doing like we did in the old days because with an influx of a lot of people, there are things that are slowly changing in which the ministry um, uh, never, ever, ever should have been entertaining or going down a certain road based on the spiritual condition of a lot of people and where they at. Blase, blase, you can say whatever. It's still prophetic because it did happen and it's still happening. And I'm going to tell you right now, and my, from my personal perspective, and I'm not shooting at anyone, I'm just telling y'all like I see it. From my personal perspective, um, I think the most high, it's, it's close to like the parable, the tares and the wheat. Um, because I'm looking at the posture of a lot of people. I'm actually watching people. Uh, you know, there's an old statement that out in the world that says, uh, silent is a consent to an agreement. Um, I'm watching a lot of things going on with people. I'm watching people. Uh, I'm watching a lot of stuff. People who are never, ever, ever. If I wasn't slandered, if I wasn't falsely accused, um, and, and mind you, just like Brother Bud said, when this ministry started straightway, Pastor Dow didn't come looking for nobody. You go and look at all these testimonies of people over the years, and many of them have since then taken down their own personal testimonies, out of which I got plenty of them in my archives, um, or load, downloaded on hard drives and stuff. But but they're trying to make you think 
that they never looked for me, they never came to me, and, and, and they didn't mean what they said and said what they mean way back then, and the truth is, they did. There was a lot of people, I mean, a lot of people that come to this marriage, they came looking for the man of Yah. Uh, they called me that, I cannot tell you a thousand times. I had some people out there, some of my biggest cheerleaders, man, end up being some of my greatest enemies, and it's just a fact. Um, Am I upset? No, no, not at all. I did call it. I'm going to say it again. The reset. It was called. See, I'm not like these people out here today. There's a lot of people that are spiritual today. You notice that, right? When something happens, oh, I saw it in a vision. Oh, I saw it in a dream. Oh, I I, uh, I just got finished telling somebody that that, that that I knew it was coming. And I'll, that ain't the way Pastor Dow operates. I operate the way that a biblical man of y'all supposed to operate. I call it up front, and then we wait to see it happen. I tell somebody up front. Sometimes I tell two or three people up front, and we wait to see it happen and take place. I don't wait till something happens and say, well, I knew. Oh, I, I seen it. I seen it. No, 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 no. When I call something before time and it happens, and like I said, it, this is prophetic. I think people need to start taking a very good look at what I said, what is taking place, and what is still transpiring and what's going on because everything that can be shaken, it will be shaken and it is being shaken. And what happens when something is shaken? It is taken out of the way. The book says, be not so soon shaken in mind, neither be troubled by any spirit. And what's happening now? What did the book say? In the last days, this also know that perilous times shall come. Men shall be lovers of their own selves, proud, boasters, blasphemers. I mean, what's taking place right now? Disobedient to parents. Oh, man. And then they will follow the, the lust of the flesh. Unthankful, ungrateful, unholy. I mean, we can go on and on and on and on and on. Truth breakers, uh, fierce, incontent false accusers that you can go on and on and on with it i don't have that particular quote down right now um probably if i was up preaching and teaching it probably just flow like a, a river but i'm just doing a youtube video right now but it is happening it's happening just like pastor dow called i'm gonna say it again put emphasis on it i called this before it happened then i had people i asked what is a reset what does it look like and in an offense and then guess what some of the ones that offended. Wow, look what has happened. I mean, I've had people who I've bent over backwards, provided a livelihood, provided a stable environment and stuff, and, and, and now all of a sudden, like I've never done nothing, nothing at all. Uh, unthankful, ungrateful, unholy. I mean, all I'm doing is stating a fact, but I'm putting the emphasis here. Israel, I want y'all to listen to me, and listen to me again. Listen to me real good. Pastor Dow called this reset before it happened. And now that we're in it, and now that it's happening, why is it that that's never bought up again? Nobody's ever, and nobody's talking about that now. Think about this, because if you can get the understanding that this was called before it happened, and now it's happening, and then you watch the attitude, you watch the character, you watch the way some people are moving and shaking. You watching all the doubters, the naysayers, the offended people. Man, you look and see what's taking place now. You're watching brother against brother, and, and you're watching. Hey, the battle is as as it was said, been set in a rake. But the truth is, this ain't no battle to be set in a rake. This ain't this. This is just not it. Um, but the truth is, you cannot argue the fact that Pastor Dow, on a prophetic level, called this before it happened. And now look, those of us that are still enduring, those of us that are still pressing toward the mark of the prize of the high calling of Yah in the Messiah, Yahshua, Mashiach, Jesus, we're still here. Ten toes down. We're still faithful, unshaken, unmovable. I've had people try to spin my words. Um, I've had people uh, get out here, man, people that I would never ever thought, people I thought they loved me. Man, does the hate come out? The hate come out. But guess what? Reset. It's it's a reset. Why? Because the Most High Yah is definitely testing and trying a lot of things right now, and I'm happy for it. I'm gonna say it again. I'm gonna, again in this video. I called this before it happened. 
Did y'all hear what I said? I said, I called this before it happened. I called it before it took place. I called it before it transpired. And, and look at us. Here we are. Look at us. Here we are. We're in it right now. We're literally in it right now. Now, is it almost complete? I'll let you know. I'm going to call that too and let you know. But, but man, we got people now that their whole mission in life is to slander, defame, uh, go to the world, lie, falsify information, point their finger, be a false accuser, because that's basically what I've had. I've had number of false accusers. I've got people that, that said that, well, it ain't right, and they can't tell you what's right. Nobody can seem to go to the book and tell you where Pastor Dollar's wrong at. Oh, you've changed. I have changed. I've gotten older. I went dark from gray. I went to um, a novice, to someone who's very wise. Um, I, I was 20. I was 30. I was 40. I was 50. Now I'm knocking on the door of 60. Yeah, I have changed. Oh, yeah, I've done a lot of changing. Grown in wisdom. Grown in grace. Grown in knowledge. Sure have. Sure have. Sure have. I've, I've changed a whole lot. And guess what? Things never remain the same. Um, I don't think the way I did with my 20s and my 30s when I first started this ministry. I've done moved on to perfection. Why doesn't, why isn't change equated to perfection and moving in the right direction? All because somebody says, falsely accusing, slandering, and being presumptuous. I remember, I'm going to end this video on this. We need to start thinking about this. Just like the prophets of old, they were hated by Israel. Uh, I'm telling you, they will hate it, man. They will put through some gauntlets, boy. But I called this before it happened. I called it before it hadn't even happened. And I'm going to tell you right now, a lot of people over the years have, have tried to come to Pastor Dial and, and said, I saw this and I saw that. I saw you as a prophet. I saw this. And I, hey, most high hadn't. I, I, I'm telling you, I've had a couple of counters with him, but he has not put that on me yet. But I do know this. When I speak, it comes to pass. Well, especially when I'm telling you when something's getting ready to take place. I'm going to tell you, Yah is still dealing with this man of Yah. And I make my boast in him. When I tell you that go and find another man of Yah that has done what I've done based on what the word has said. Um, I'm going to tell you because I'm 100% submitted to him. I know that is him that's doing everything. But guess what? You got to be a willing vessel and a trusted vessel before y'all can use you like that. You better believe it. And so, yeah, I'll give y'all the glory. I sure do. I'm also a Jeremiah 315. And, and that's what y'all said. And I will give you pastors according to my heart, which shall feed you with knowledge and understanding. Yeah, there's a lot of people come to this ministry did not have nowhere near the knowledge that they have today. Now they have a little bit of knowledge and they perceive that they know more than the one that's taught them. I called the reset before it happened. When is somebody going to give y'all the glory and start thanking y'all for everything that has transpired and taken place and thanking y'all for those of you that are still here that you stood strong, that you kept the faith, that you have stood next to your friend, your pastor, your brother, that you uh, have waved, uh, you, you have uh, rolled the tide of unbelief and slander and disbelief and, and all this finger pointing, and yet you still hear, you're still loving me the way that Pastor Dow loves you, man. Again, I'm far from a false brother and I'm far from a false prophet because, again, I'm going to tell you right now, I, whenever I tell you something that y'all says, it happens. Whenever I tell you something's getting ready to take place, it takes place. It's not one of those things that people got this grand revelation after something's taken. Oh, I knew what was going to happen. Y'all yeah, showed me the vision and dream. But tell somebody. If you got a dream, tell it. That's what you're supposed to be doing. You have a vision, tell it. That's what the book tells you you're supposed to be doing. Tell it. But see, nobody's willing to stick their neck out on the line today and, and, and really call the thing so that you can really see what spirit people are hearing things from. I give y'all the glory for the reset. I do. And I think that all of Israel should be rejoicing for this reset. And I think that more than anything with the way that my name has been misused and abused in this last year, I think y'all to look at that and, and ask yourself this question. What did they say about the prophets and what prophet did they not kill? What did they say about the apostles? And what apostle did they not kill? 
the way things are going right now, I'm right now it looks like I'm in pretty good company with the holy men of old that it went on because what's transpiring in this day, you can't get nobody's attention about me unless you lying on me. That's all there's to it. And I the envy and the jealous is so real. Man, it's so real. That people try to mimic, they try to do, they try to act like, they try to, man, it's, 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 it's off. It's amazing. But I'm going to give y'all the glory. Thank you, Jesus. I'm going to give you the glory, Father, because the reset is real. It has been real. Glory to the king. Thank y'all for the reset. The king is coming.